Hello everyone. In this episode, I will present the main purpose for which the Vector Brain Arm program was created. The purpose of channel itself is to study the impact of various factors in shooting on the development of shooters' skills. However, the Vector Brain Armed project itself hides the development of modern military technologies. The knowledge we have about the behavior of auditory nervous system has enabled us to start work in 2021 on a new technology. The system I'm talking about detects the inner voice that accompanies us when we express our thoughts in the form of words and sentences and changes them into voice information that can be sent and listened by another person in real time. So how does it work? Neuronal activity is recorded by the electrodes of the Vector system head unit. <laughs> Neuronal activity is recorded by the electrodes of the Vector system head unit as a graphic record of the waves over time. The AI system in the Vector interface analyze the graphic record and recognize the characteristic wave projection for the inner voice to turn it first into words and sentences form of a text message, which is then read by AI system and converted into a real-time synthetic voice, which is sent to other person as a voice message to be listened to. The Vector system, where we can use it? Military soldiers will have access to voiceless communication among themselves, which will provide additional security and discretion. Mobile telephony, texting with your thoughts, will reduce the use of phones while driving. Medicine, a deaf person will be able to communicate his thoughts for people that don't know sign language. What the Vector system looks like and using it. The Vector system includes Vector portable wired or wireless headset internal voice analyzer. The analyzer is worn on the head. The position of electrodes is focused on the centers involved in the analysis of the inner voice. The Actor System Central Unit is an interface encapsulated with AI system for analysis and projection of synthetic voice. At the same time, is also responsible for communication with the second central unit in other person equipped with the Actor System. So it's sending and receiving information. The Vector System Central Unit is equipped with a transmitter and receiver of the Vector System's encrypted signal so that each person can transmit and listen to the message. The use of the system requires training, just as in verbal communication. Not everyone can speak at once. There must be a communication order as in normal conversation. So example of message, alpha one clear, alpha two clear. In the first model, we used an open inner canal earphones to transmit information. In the second model developed, the analyzer already has an integrated bone earphone, which is located on mastoid bone behind the ear. The generated vibration transmits acoustic information via the bone pathway. Future development of vector technology with internal voice control capabilities for vehicles or drones. With the start of this year, we began work on using our vector system to control the flight and behavior of a drone. The current use of EEG device to control drone flight is complicated because it requires creating a cube object in one's spatial imagination, whose movement in a given direction will trigger the same drone behavior in reality. We don't think this way is visible for use in the military if a soldier were to focus on his space and additionally create 
an image of Cube that moves in his imagination on the battlefield. Instead, our system will control the drone's behavior by comments sent using an internal voice through the Vector system. If we want to start a drone's engines, all we need to do is pick the command drone start in our mind. We are currently in the process of programming the Vector system to control the drone with as many comments as possible and we are already achieving some success. We practice using comments in open and closed spaces, initially without weapons and then with weapons. Movement changes the behavior of auditory cortex activity and the way we think, so controlling the drone while moving is the biggest challenge due to the high activity of multiply centers. In this video, the controller activates a drone that flies over the stairs to check for objects that pose a threat. The drone is equipped with motion and object detection interface that are used in current autonomous driving. In this video, the drone first ascends a meter and after the command fly straight two meters, follows the command head to the left start roof verification. In this test, when the controller runs, there was more than once an error in reading an activity of the internal voice due to the high physical activity that is in this case running. In this recording, the cor correct response to the comments just happened. The drone is currently used to warn us of a threat that may occur in area, or it can rely the location of enemy units, which can be used to create an attack strategy. In the future, Voice comments using the Vector system will also be able to activate light or voice signals in the drone to confuse the enemy about the position of our units. We are currently in the process of analyzing and verification of the effectiveness detection of inner voice in Polish language. Of course, the same correctness will be checked in other languages. Each of us also has some difference in location of centers involved in creation of the inner voice and in the anatomy of the brain. Until the end of June, we are looking for voluntaries who would like to take a part in such research. Country or age does not matter. The more diverse samples of EAG results in different languages, the more accurate will be the learning of AI system in recognizing their correct pattern of inner voice. Those who are interested in taking part in future research related to controlling drones using EEG system are welcome to contact us to let us know if you are interested in research and if so, what kind of research, whether it is a recognize of the inner voice or also learn how to control the drone. We are also looking for programmers and engineering to help us develop the technology. If you are interested, please contact us on the email. About a thousand people from different countries are needed for this study. Applications are accepted from the age 21, with no age limit above. Once we have verified the interest in the project of a sufficient number of people, we will launch further procedures already related to survey, constants and necessary applications to launch the study, about which we will inform those who are interested.